Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new episode of CD Inbox. This is where I talk about the CDs I found uh, recently, sort of do these sort of quarterly, so I guess we're going to call this one CD Inbox for Spring 2018. Got a, quite a bit of CDs here that I've picked up in the last couple months. It's springtime, the end of the college semester. Uh, the spring semester has ended. A lot of college students have moved out of town. They sort of dump, tend to dump their CDs off at, at thrift stores and whatnot. So there's been a, been a good selection recently and I've been picking up a lot. I am, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just come out as a, I, I'm, I'm hoarding the CDs as best I can. Uh, anything of interest at all I'm picking up and, and collecting because I, I sort of missed out on that, on the vinyl stuff in the, in the mid to late 90s when I started collecting vinyl. Uh, I, I bought stuff here and there, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I missed out on a lot of stuff. I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I sort of was very particular about what I bought, sort of stayed within what I knew. And uh, yeah, I missed out on a lot of stuff, so I don't want to do that with the CDs. So I'm picking up a lot of, a lot of things on CD and just sort of... Uh, putting them in storage for now mostly um, I do come home and uh, when I come home I do tend to try to listen to a CD or two every every evening just to check out some stuff uh, sort of work through this pile of stuff that I get but this is what I got in the past couple of months let's go ahead and get into it can't talk about CDs in the here in the music community without thinking about DJ Trish and she recently sent me a new mix sent me a nice note along with it so I thought I'd go ahead and recognize that uh, if you haven't checked out DJ Trish's channel check out her channel it's just really awesome awesome music reviews and um, shows you the sights of uh, the uh, Jersey Shore there where she lives which is pretty cool so she sent me her latest mix uh, titled Lost in the Groove a lot of good stuff on here should be a really good uh, good thing to um, enjoy you got Art of Noise and uh, Fatboy Slim and jeez uh, uh, Benny Goodman's on here Lee Scratch Perry Augustus Pablo uh, Bing Crosby, the Blues Brothers, good mix of stuff. Always enjoy uh, Trisha's mix, so wanted to share that uh, she sent me these, and thank you again, Trish, for sending me these out. And she also sent me out um, the Dub Pistols speakers and tweeters. I believe this is a ska band. She recently was gifted some CDs from a coworker of hers, and uh, shared several of those with her. Her uh, her friends and I was lucky enough to get this one so thank you for that um, so let's go ahead and get into the CDs I purchased myself as I said most of these are from thrift store kind of things I I tend to as I said I'm, I'm collecting these as I can they're anywhere from 30 to 50 cents a piece so it's ridiculous not to grab them when you see something interesting uh, so this first deck here this will be from the Humane Society thrift store uh, go there uh, at once a month probably not too often uh, but their CDs are 50 cents now so let's go ahead and show those first one I got here is Tori Amos from the Choir Girl Hotel oh, that's a nice one I'm not sure if I have this one or not I may have it already but uh, if I do find out that I have these, I sort of add them to piles of, of things to, to give or trade, or I got a, actually got a, speaking of DJ Trish, I got a pile of stuff for uh, DJ Trish to send out here pretty soon. Next thing I got here is the Chemical Brothers with Come With Us. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. Look forward to checking that one out. Uh, another Chemical Brothers, this one is Push the Button. Uh, this is kind of a blind buy, just looked interesting. Uh, maybe some indie pop kind of stuff. This is uh, Christina Perry with Love Strong. Could be indie rock as well. Really not sure. Just thought I'd give it a try. Uh, we got Tori Amos here with Two Venus and Beck. This is a two CD set. So, uh, try fold there. That's pretty cool. Uh, CD single from Tori Amos for Hey Jupiter. I believe this is off of Boys for, Pe Boys for Pele. 
yeah, off the album Boys for Pele, but also has uh, a couple of live tracks and a couple of additional things on here. So I thought that would be interesting to, uh, to give a listen to, and it's probably some stuff on here I haven't heard, even though I do have Boys for Pele. So that was a nice find. Uh, next up, a two CD set from Paul Oakenfold. This is Cream Fields. Just a nice mix of stuff he did. Uh, so that, that'll be fun to... Fun... Oops. Goodness. <laughs> fun to listen to. So, yeah. Um, here is a copy, a CD copy of a vinyl favorite of mine that is Roberta Flack's first take debut album. Oh, just an incredible album. And, yeah, glad to pick this up on CD and uh, have it digitally. So for... 50 cents couldn't go wrong with that all right it's more more chemical brothers this is the album titled surrender 1999 is the year on this one and yeah i'm familiar with chemical brothers but i've never really dove in and sort of listened to their albums I mean, you know know the hits but don't really know the albums that well so it's cool to pick these up all right another tori amos this is strange little girls from 2001. There's a CD on that one. Tori Amos is The Beekeeper. This one is from 2008, it looks like. 2005, I think. Um, this next one was quite an interesting find. I love the band Kansas. I've talked about them before in my vinyl videos. I talked about their album from last year that I really loved, or from two years ago now, I guess, that I really loved. Uh, this is Protocol. So this is pre-Kansas, sort of before Kansas was Kansas, I guess, a group. And then they got back together and made this CD in uh, 2004. So it should be some, some progressive kind of Kansas like sounding stuff anyway so that looks pretty cool look forward to hearing that and the last one here from the, uh, the Humane Society uh, thrift store is Disney's Greatest Hits Volume 1 uh, you got a bunch of like, very common Disney type stuff from Mulan, Little Mermaid, Lion King, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, Hunter 1 Dalmatians, Peter Pan, Snow White, Lady and the Tramp, you know, all the, all the Disney stuff you know and love all here on this uh, CD compilation, so I thought I would grab that. Uh, this next deck I have here are from the Goodwill. First one I got here is the Catherine Wheel with Wishville. This is from 2000. Heard about the Catherine Wheel before, but not real familiar with their music, so it'll be good to hear this. Good to check them out and see what they're all about. Uh, this is sort of a local thing. The rock and roll college rock and roll station used to be a classic rock station. Is none is not happening anymore. Not. Uh, it's, it's switched over to mainly a classical kind of station, but uh, back in their heyday, it was Rock 104, Gainesville's uh, rock and roll station, and they had their Battle of the Bands. So they had a bunch of local bands get together and sort of do a competition, see who was the best kind of thing. And uh, this is the CD compilation of all the bands that participated. At, and Volume 2, this is from, uh, I'm not sure when the year was on this one. 2000 is the year so that was uh, just a bunch of local bands from the uh, 2000 period sort of late 90s period check that'll be cool to hear uh, next up an album here from not a surf this is the proximity effect uh, do you like not a surf but I'm not familiar with anything off this album so this will be a fun one to check out as well Classic here, Cake, Fashion Nugget, two, uh, 1996 is the year on this one. This one has The Distance on it, uh, Race Car Yaya's. <laughs> yeah, bunch of bunch of classics from here. Uh, next one, another Not A Surf album here. This is The Weight Is A Gift. Not sure of the year on this one. But it is a two CD deluxe set, so that's nice. 
Uh, we got the Snow Patrol with 100 million suns. 2008 is the year on this one. Uh, I think I might have this one already, but yeah, as I said, I'd sort of grab anything interesting at all. If, if I have it, I find other outlets for it, trade or whatnot, possibly sell it on Discogs. Uh, next up, we have the Clash's Combat Rock, classic one from them. Uh, but nice to have it on CD here. Uh, next up, we got Snow Patrol with Eyes Open. Uh, next up, got one here from Orgy. This is Vapor Transmission. Uh, and the last one from this stack, another one from Orgy. This is Cancias. Uh, Orgy or Electronic Group. Um, this one is from 1998. So that was a nice stack from Goodwill. Got another short stack here from Goodwill. Go ahead and get into those real quick. Uh, first one I got here is Enya with Shepherd's Moon. 1991 is the year on this one. I uh, don't believe I have this one. I do have a bunch of, a good bit of Enya in the collection. I do like her music, so. Uh, and she's a good one to have on CD. Works, works really well on CD. Uh, here is a soundtrack to the movie Project Polaroid. It's kind of an interesting, uh, I'm not really sure what the movie's like, but kind of an interesting sort of hip-hop soundtrack. You got Cool Keith, Prince Poe, Roughneck, Jihad, and Motion Man. Uh, so yeah, it should be a pretty interesting, pretty interesting soundtrack to listen to. Uh, got Fergie's The Duchess. Didn't have this one, so thought I would go ahead and grab it. I do like a little sort of pop, hip hop kind of stuff, so that'll be a good one to uh, sort of have for exercising and whatnot. And some more electronic here. We have vitamin C. This is more vitamin C. Okay, this next stack I have here are from the Second and Charles store here in town, sort of a half price books type store. Uh, went in there one day, they had a whole rack of CDs for 50 cents a piece, and I also were doing uh, buy two, get one free. So I got a bunch of CDs here for a really good price anyway. They're 50 cents a piece, and then every third one is free. First one I got here is sort of a collection of 60s, sort of garage rock type stuff. This is titled Day Trippers. That one is still sealed. Um, yeah, a lot of different bands. You got Yardbirds, Small Faces, uh, Captain Beefheart, Moody Blues, Chicago, Humble Pie. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of '60s rock kind of things. So that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, this is a more electronica BT with the Laptop Symphony, two CD set. It's electronica there. Next up, we got Crystal Waters with Storyteller. Uh, 1994 is the year on this one. Uh, next up, we got a compilation of some techno and drum and bass. This is Shadow with uh, Hard Sessions. Uh, nice little comp, still sealed, so that'll be fun. Uh, got some hip hop. This is Royce to Five Nine with his album, uh, yeah, Make It Count MIC mixtape. So uh, Royce to Five Nine are from the uh, why can't I think of the name of the group? Eminem sort of uh, group. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> the beer's getting to me. Uh, but anyway, some hip hop there. Uh, the Art of Rock and Roll, the very best of Huey Lewis and the News. Nice comp of Huey Lewis and the News tracks here. Some more sort of hip hop type stuff. This is Lost Prophets with the fake sound of progress from 2001. Uh, 
And the last one from the Second and Charles store, we have the soundtrack to New Jack City. A uh, bunch of, bunch of hip hop and R&B on here. I did have this at one point, end up selling it at some point, but glad to have it back in the collection. So soundtrack to New Jack City, some good tracks on here. All right, let's go ahead and do a, another stack of Goodwill pickups. This first one's sort of a blind buy, look like something I might be interested in, so I thought I'd check it out. This is Dylan LeBlanc with check, with cautionary jail, sorry. Uh, this is from 2015, so fairly new. Nice little, nice little gatefold there. Uh, looks like it might be some, some indie rock, singer songwriter -y kind of stuff. We'll check that out. Uh, sealed copy of Hanson's this time around, even though I already own this album on CD. I thought I would keep this sealed copy just to have as a sort of a collector's item kind of thing. Uh, an album by Collective Soul. This is Dosage. Uh, 1999 is the year on this one. Uh, another one I already have on CD, but this one's sealed, so I thought I would just grab it just because it's sealed. Uh, that's Johnny Lang's Lie to Me. Classic blues, well not classic blues, but sort of modern classic blues kind of thing, even though it's this album probably 20 years old at this point. Yeah, 1998, it's 20 years old, but good stuff. Uh, some Christian hip hop, this is Lecrae with Rehab. Uh, really good Christian hip hop artist. Don't listen to a lot of Christian stuff these days, but uh, yeah, he's definitely one to check out. Good good artist, so definitely wanted to have that. Uh, next up we have the Teenagers with Reality Check. This one seemed like something I would be interested in, sort of synthy, poppy kind of stuff, so thought I would check that out. A uh, nice deluxe edition of Bruce Springsteen's Working on a Dream. Uh, yeah, really, really nice edition of this. Got the I think there's a DVD in here and a CD and a nice, nice big booklet of, of uh, you know, photographs and lyrics and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, really cool to pick that up. And the last one here, uh, not sure if this is Korean or Chinese, um, uh, some sort of Asian artist with a lenticular cover here. Pretty cool. I believe it's Chinese. Sort of. Uh, pop kind of stuff so yeah it's cool it's always fun to find imports and check them out Got another goodwill stack here i know this is running pretty long but we're getting there uh this is the soundtrack to where the wild things are really cool really cool to find this good soundtrack enjoyed the movie a lot and we got level 42 with world machine 1985 is the year on this one nice german german release there uh, I got Weezer, the green album. Not the biggest Weezer fan, but I do want to check them out, and I haven't heard haven't heard this one before, so thought I would give it a try. See what that's all about. Uh, another sort of UK release here. We have the Anastasia uh, Ultimate Collection. I'm guessing she's a UK pop artist that was is pretty popular over there, but haven't heard of her here. This is from 2015. Uh, yeah, just. Never heard of her, but apparently she's pretty big over in the UK, so got that. Um, check out our music, see what it's like. All right, this next one is from a group called Transparent Voyages to All My Dear Friends. Looks like sort of a uh, jazz fusion kind of group here, sort of a private press kind of thing uh, from, from the local area. So yeah, I look forward to checking that out, seeing what it's all about. Looks pretty cool. Uh, next up, something from a group called Rat Rasputina. This is titled uh, Frustration Plantation. Yeah, Frustration Plantation. Nice two CD set there. I think this might be some like new grass kind of stuff. Not sure, but yeah, this was interesting. So I, I'll give it a try. All right, this next one is a one uh, from a group I bought their album from 2016. 
uh, Sunlit Youth, I think, was their most recent album, but this is their album from 2013, maybe, looking like. Uh, Local Natives with uh, Hummingbird. I uh, really enjoyed it. Sort of a, a modern synth pop kind of group. Really enjoyed their music. So I should, should enjoy this one quite a bit as well. And the last one from this stack is Totally Awesome Christmas. Hilary Duff and Jesse McCartney and Rascal Flatts and Shadaisy and yeah, some, some, some interesting groups on here doing Christmas songs. So always enjoy having, having new Christmas music to hear. So I'm going to head in and grab that. Okay, so this last deck I have for you today are from the Florida Folk Festival. Just recently attended this past this weekend when I'm recording this over the uh, over the Memorial Day weekend is whenever the when the Florida Folk Festival happens. Uh, so the first thing I have here is from a group um, I sort of discovered at the Florida Folk Festival several years ago. Been following along with them ever since. Really enjoyed them, uh, and they put out a new album this past year, and that is the group Brother Brother. This is their new album, newest album titled "The New Kids." So I got that while I was at the Folk Festival and got them to sign it as well. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, again, they're kind of a, a new grass kind of kind of group, I guess you could call them. Really, really fun, really upbeat, really energetic, and I really enjoy their music. So definitely didn't want to miss out on grabbing their new album while I was there rather than having to mail order it. Um, and these next ones are from a seller there at the Florida Folk Festival that had uh, some boxes of CDs. They were $2 a piece or 3 for $5 and I ended up getting six here. So I'll go ahead and share those with you and then we'll close this video out. So the first one I got here is The Mix by Craftwork. Uh, I believe this is from 1991 is when the, this was released. Uh, these are some remixes of classic Kraftwerk songs that they did themselves. So they sort of reworked, remixed kind of thing of their own music. So should be pretty interesting. Should be should be fun to, fun to hear those. So I look forward to checking that out. Uh, this next one, continue on with collecting uh, Richard Thompson kind of stuff. So ever since somebody said I, I should check him out. Uh, both Richard and Linda Thompson, but this is Richard Thompson's Mirror Blue, and I believe the person that mentioned them, mentioned him, said that this one's one to hear, so uh, I went ahead and grabbed it from 1994. Definitely will check that out. Here's a really interesting one I found. This is a... <laughs> I didn't even know this was something that was available. This is a album by Donovan titled Sutras. It was an album produced by Rick Rubin, in um, 99, I think is when this was, 96. Yeah, 96 on the Deaf American label when Rick Rubin was doing a lot of Johnny Cash type stuff. Uh, he also did Donovan. So this ought to be pretty interesting to hear what he did, um, how, you know, sort of, yeah, what he did with Donovan to see, what, see how that sounds. So yeah, definitely look forward to checking that out. Uh, two CD set, Queen Live Killers. Live performance of Queen from 79, uh, issued on CD in 91. Cool to find that. Do you have this on vinyl? But anything I can, anytime I can get something on CD as well, that's always helpful. Keeps me from having to rip the vinyl to listen to it when I'm on the go. Um, here's the first one I found. I was definitely not leaving without. This is Wesley Willis with great, or Wesley Willis's greatest hits. Starts off with Rock and Roll McDonald's, his most well known track. Uh, yeah, that was that was definitely a cool find. And the last one I picked up there here is a compilation of the Talking Heads. This is titled Sand in the Vaseline. Bunch of classic Talking Heads tracks on here, two CD set again, as I said. Yeah, so those are my CD finds from the spring of 2018. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of what I found. Let me know uh, what you found. Anything you want to uh, tip me off on, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Have a great day, a great night, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.